Well, good morning. How are y'all today? I'm not enjoying this little Easter snap. Told Linda, told Linda, and told Linda. No, no, it's not going to get cold. It's not going to get cold. Got cold. She believe me now. I'm enjoying this hot coffee, though. Let me tell y'all something. Funny story. I was up at my mama's, just sitting there, and she had been telling me that this little mouse had been playing cat and mouse with her. She had been worrying with this mouse. She had, she said, Lord Jean, you got to help me get this mouse. I said, Junior's the pest control. Let him get it. She said, are you going to help me or not? I said, I'll try. <laughs> Scared to death of them. I mean, it's the startling how they scurry past you. If I see him over there, I'm not scared. That, that little quick movement, it bothers me. Anything that does that, it bothers me. So anyway, i just been avoiding Mama and her little rat. I call them all rats. I know that they're, they're mice. But. So I'm sitting, you know, just sitting there. We're talking or whatever. And I see something out of the corner of my eye. So I, I sit up in the chair. And I'm kind of looking. About that time he Darts across the floor. I put my feet up in the chair. She tells me to go get it. I said, I, Mama, I can't. Oh, well, he keeps running across here. And she sleeps in her recliner. And her, her, her couch lets out. And she sleeps there. She said, I'm scared he's going to run across me. I said, you in trouble. You better do something. So she had put out poison. Got Cloud to bring her some more poison and she said, they just eating that. It's crumbs everywhere, and he ain't dead yet. Well, anyway, she keeps telling me. I said, get you some of them glue traps. Uh, they don't, they go walk around it. They, I said, you got some educated rats. So anyway, Junior came in while I was there. I said, you need to help mom kill these rats. He just laughs at us. He said, you got them too. I said, no, I don't. I said, I ain't never seen but one in my house, and I've been living there for 20-something years. I didn't even count up how long I lived here. I really, I could, probably, 20, I had to be 20 years because my kids were in their 30s, and they were young. But anyway, I said, I've, I've on there, we've known of two or three ever being here, but I've only ever, of course, I'm the one to see the one. I said, I've only ever seen one, and right then I made Mace get some poison, and the next day it was over in my dishwater, and of course, I'm, I'm the one that said, what is that? It was the mouse had gotten sick off the poison, fell in my dishwater. That's a whole nother story. But anyway, and it was a tiny little mouse. He said, well, you got him. I'm just going to tell you. Do you know where you live? I said, yeah. You live in the woods. You, you got him. I said, no, I don't. He said, well, you do. I promise you. It was less than a week later. I go to bed, and I don't always clean my kitchen at night. I don't. I should. My mama taught me to. Y'all know my rebellion story. If you don't, I'll tell you that one. But I get up the next morning, and I'm going to do my dishes. And there's rat droppings all over the counter, everywhere. And I'm like, what is this? I knew what it was. I'm not having this. And, and I try to tell myself it's something else, but there's like 40 of them, so I can't. Maybe not 40. At least 20. So I'm saying, what is it? What is it? And y'all know my pretty little bowl, the one I got at the estate sale, there was probably 10 just in it. Why no food in it? I don't know why you got in there to poop. I said, what is it? I was so mad and scared. And I start cleaning it up, and I'm just like, I can't, I can't stay here. But I get it all cleaned up. But I don't tell Mace about it. I forgot. About two days later, I start noticing, but I don't see any more that night. And the next night, so it, would, it was Friday morning. I forget to tell him. Saturday, I go to work. I'm busy. Sunday night, or at dark, I tell my spouse, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, Hannah saw him, 
I said, what? Why didn't you tell me? I don't know. I forgot. Why didn't you tell me? Well, so I go right then to town. And when we get to town, all the computers were shut down on, at every store. And so they were closing early. And I drive Linda up to the door, and they let her go in Piggly Wiggly. So for 95 cents, we get two rat, she gets two rat traps. She said, I started to get you them big ones. I was like, I'm coming to spend the night with you when I need that. So we come home and set them. Well, May set them. And they're on, on the counter where I left out part of this story. I can't even believe it. What made me actually go Sunday night? I turned the light on when I walk into the kitchen. That's what made me remember to tell Mace. I turned the light on, and those little dogs that Aunt Joyce bought me for Christmas, those Pioneer Women dogs that are in the video, I hear this. One of them just moved, like he came to life. And I look over there, and as I look over there where it is, I see a tail, nothing but a tail, go over behind the counter. <laughs> I'm like, so I go home to my bedroom. I'm like, not today. It is not the day. So I went on. Tell Mace. He tells me Hannah sees it. We go to town. Like the night, I bought poison, glue trap. I want, and so I told Linda, she's like, I got that again. We used them before. I said, I want the kind that goes, I want to see that little sucker dead. First dollar store wouldn't let us in. The second one, they're standing there and hand punching stuff because the computers are down. I said, Piggly Wiggly's probably closed. She said, well, let's go see. They look open. And she hollered and asked somebody. He said, you got five minutes. I said, you got five minutes to figure it out. So anyway, I just went up in my head. She went in there and she got me one. She got me two. And so we, we go in there. So she comes out. Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night. I was saying it took two days. Apparently it took three. Mays comes every day. He'd say, we can catch him. He's got to be in there. No, we didn't catch him. But yesterday morning, only the stove light was on. I didn't turn the light on when I got up to get my coffee. And I went in there. Kind of looked like something was there, but it's kind of dark and gray over there anyway. And I was just like, went back and turned the light on. And I said, he was the fattest little rat. You just, oh, he was, he was the fattest little mouse. I told him, said, we got something. He said, why not? Because I'll look him up. I said, I don't know if he's a fat mouse. Or a little rat. He's 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 so big. He's, I said you gotta get him. He said what what? I said I ain't touching that thing. He said you ain't gotta touch him. I said I, you have to get him. So he threw him away while I was going to work. But thankfully, when I came home, he was gone, and they, the the uh, trap was reset because he might have some friends or a sister. I said a brother. He might have a sister. He might have a mom. I want them all. The kind of rats I want in my house are dead ones. I don't want any. But if I'm going to have some, the kind I want are dead ones and no other ones. I don't like them. And if y'all are like me and not like these crazy animal lovers. Ugh. But there's probably people that want them alive too. I ain't one of them. The only kind I want or dead ones in my house. I don't want them even in my yard. In my yard, I want them out by the trees. Nowhere near my house. I do not want them. Only dead ones. Don't want them in my house. I'm scared of them. And the way I see it, God gave us dominion over the animals for a reason. And y'all think about that, and y'all gonna love it.